it's Mari and thanks so much for joining me today for my very first video in my prompted series and you can see the prompt for this one is a day that started in one direction and ended up taking a completely different direction so I'll end up talking about that prompt and how it relates to the layout here as we go along <clears throat> so what I started out with was this really beautiful basil cardstock and this is uh, obviously an ombre cardstock in kind of a teal and it's really a heavy paper and so I decided that it would be a really great base for some mixed media. So I'm just putting some gesso down there and I wanted it to be opaque because I wanted it to be kind of like a, a messy base for a really classy picture. So. I'm just working on creating some texture on that base right now and so I put some gesso down and now I go into my stash and I'm thinking hmm what other messy products <laughs> can I use on this so one of my favorite things to do is to get into my mixed media stuff so I put down this crackle medium which is I think it's a prima prima gesso crackle or something like that and it's it's really neat I, I really love using it in my art journal too so it you put it down fairly thick and then it ends up crackling but it does take some drying time so there's a bit of a transition coming up here which is when I stopped and, and let that dry well and <clears throat> then I'm just gonna continue putting some other messy products on here so I decide that I'm gonna use uh, a couple of different colors or a couple of different products for the color pink and I end up starting off with some shimmers paint and this shimmers paint is gorgeous I just put it down on a little piece of plastic there because I, I haven't been putting my mixed media mat uh, down on my table to to uh, work on which it that is really handy but this is another way to avoid getting your table messy so I just put it down on some plastic added a little bit of water and then mixed it around with my brush and now I'm just going to take it and rub it down onto the layout in a variety of different places just smoosh it around and this paint what is so cool and I don't know what properties are in there to make it do this but it's just really sparkly and it's not it's different than like a glitter sparkle it's it's just really really pretty and it almost has sort of like an iridescent effect to it so um, I love it I love those paints so now I decided that I just wanted to try a little bit of gelato on here too so I just took one of my pink gelato sticks and I'm just going to smoosh some more on there some more color and if you don't if you haven't used gelatos before they're just a fabric castell product um, they work really well with water and they, they're really really easy to use so you can see it's that one right there and it's almost like in a, a lip chap container <laughs> and the new containers are are see-through so or transparent so it's kind of cool you can see the actual color right through the tube so that's good now I'm also going to use some dazzlers in tutti frutti and these products are so gorgeous because they're so shimmery right which I mean oh yeah right they're called shimmers that's that makes sense they absolutely are shimmery and I'm just using this on a little six by six crafters workshop stencil and I love that I love how it looks and the color theme for this layout is definitely pink and teal and gold of course so I'm just going to put that in a couple of different corners here just as a little bit of texture behind where that picture is going to be going so you're only going to be able to see that texture paste or those dazzlers kind of poke out in those corners but you'll see that it's enough and like I said before I just wanted to add a really messy base behind where the photograph is going to go and because I really want the um, the photo to be the main focal point here um, it's a, a really nice classy photo so I've just taken some black acrylic paint splattered that on there because I do have that black frame and I put a little bit of the Tim Holtz tissue paper down in a couple of places there with some gel medium and this is the photograph so I what I did was I matted this large photo on some vellum with some gold foil hearts I think that's from last year's crepe paper Valentine's collection and then I have a piece of black cardstock behind that just so it's a real standout on that messy mixed media background so that was my 
method or my reasoning behind putting that messy base down there. Now I'm just going to start to embellish this and I'm using some products from the Crepe Paper Hello Love collection here. Um, some of these products I got in a scrapbooking kit from Maggie Milo's Pink Camera shop online and her online store is wonderful if you've never checked it out. So I ended up buying that kit and it had quite a few bits and pieces from the Hello Love collection in it. So I'm just uh, working with some of the ephemera bits and pieces, some of the chipboard and the, the ephemera pieces from the ephemera pack. So I'm just going to fuss around there a little bit. I wanted to create a little cluster there in on that side in that corner and so that's what you'll see me working with here. That black and white paper that I use to frame the layout in is from Crate Paper Craft Market and I just gutted that black and white striped paper and used it as a frame here. I just like the way that it finished it off and I feel like it just makes the the layout really pop that way and then I use black accents as well on the the layout also. So I'm going to take some pop dots and just um, uh, pop up that ephemera heart. I like that little heart because it's got the pink and teal and black on it as well. And I do really like that XO balloon in shipboard, but I don't end up using it um, just because I, I thought it was maybe a little bit much, but it's super cute. I'll definitely be using it on another layout. So I'm just going to continue to work on what I want there. I'll tell you a little bit about the picture and how it works into the prompt. So I thought about that prompt and it instantly made me think about um, this day that Bailey and I spent together. We were going to take a girls trip this one day in the summer. It was late August. We were going to go to the lake for the day and we ended up taking a side turn um, as we went through a city that's near us that's on the way to the lake we stopped at this little shop that sells grad dresses and wedding gowns and that kind of thing and she was going to be graduating that year and we ended up finding her grad dress that day which was totally not uh, expected at all and she never ever found another dress that she liked more than that dress and it's the one that we ended up getting and it's the really the first place we ever shopped for a dress it's the you know one of the very first ones that she tried on and it was her size we didn't have to order it it was they had just gotten it in kind of thing and so it was perfect so she said yes to the dress that day and it was uh, a big surprise so these thickers are gorgeous and they I think they're part of the hello love collection um, so they're American crafts thickers and they are dipped in gold so they're white chipboard thickers with a gold dip and they're gorgeous so I wanted to use them on this layout, and but I wanted to combine them with some black alphas as well because there's quite a bit of black in the layout. And I wanted the title to be Say Yes to the Dress. So um, like the TV show, obviously. So that's where that comes from. And I'm just gonna work on putting those thickers down. And I end up putting them in kind of a, a messy um, way just to kind of create a little bit of an interesting way for them to be on the the layout instead of just straight and you'll see me just adding some a few little rub-ons and some splatters around as well now those little heart acetate hearts that you see above say above the say in the title there and down lower are from that uh, that kit that scrapbooking kit that I got from Maggie Milo and the pink camera shop they were in a little glassine bag in the kit now I'm going to attempt to put those rub-ons on there. Those are from an old hip kit and I should have used them when I got them but I've left them in my stash a little bit too long and they are no longer good. So I end up checking those out but I find some really nice Amy Tangerine ones and I'm going to put those on the layout here and I end up just putting a little heart and a kind of like a little cross hatching pattern just to add a little bit more detail to that that title section so um, then all i'm going to do is put some heidi swap color shine uh, splatters and gold on here and my journaling and that's going to be it for this layout so once again i had so much fun with my mixed media products and pretty soon i'm going to have an art journal a prompted art journal um, layout here for you too so this series won't just be scrapbooking it'll also include some art journaling as well 
And the journaling that I did here, I used this zebra ballpoint pen. And I don't know if I'll go back to using my other, some of my other journaling pens that I've had that I bought specifically for scrapbooking. These pens are really, really great for a lot of different uh, applications in your craft room. So I really like that. I highly recommend them. I think I end up showing you a little bit more of a close up of that pen. So this layout's pretty much done. Thank you so much for joining me for my very first prompted series. I really appreciate it. And I hope you can come back again another day for another layout and another episode of prompted. And I, I'm really enjoying this so far, even though it's just my first video, <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be awesome. So I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.